Now this Holiday Junction has, has other uh, quite remarkable properties. The, the most astonishing of these is the fact that the branch can simply migrate up and down the DNA um, and that this migration which uh, takes place involves at every step breaking a pair of bases, uh, base pairs and forming right next to it a new pair of base pairs and so actually it's energetically uh, neutral because you're breaking as many base pairs as you're forming and this uh, branch can migrate back and forth on DNA uh, with ease. That turns out to be very useful if there are certain places in DNA that are easier to manipulate than others um, and this branch can migrate to those points. In fact, cells uh, facilitate this kind of process by having enzymes that will in fact directly make this uh, branch go down the DNA in one direction or the other. Um, in E. coli we know the most about these, uh, these molecules. Uh, there, the, there's a pair of molecules called RUV-A and RUV-B. The RUV-A molecule actually binds to this holiday junction structure and the RUV-B proteins turn out to be hexameric uh, protein motors which can pull the DNA through the, uh, through the structure and actually cause this branch to migrate. And uh, the actual motion of this, which has been worked out from studying um, the, the structure of these molecules crystallographically and, and enzymatically, is shown here. Now there's another property of holiday junctions which turns out to be equally important beyond branch migration, and that is the fact that these uh, molecules have to be uh, at the end of, uh, of the process of, of, of repair or replication, these uh, branch molecules have got to be taken apart. If you think about this as a pair of chromosomes um, and they were ready to undergo mitosis, they're going to be unable to go through mitosis if the two DNA molecules are linked together in this way. They, aren't being a, they won't be able to separate uh, to the two poles of, of the mitotic spindle. So there has to be a mechanism that can take these holiday junctions apart. And there are, in fact, uh, enzymes, resolvases, which can take these, uh, uh, these branch molecules apart. And, and it's sometimes hard to think about this just because when we draw these structures on the board, they don't look symmetrical anymore. But if you think about the fact that this was a f uh, in, in three dimensions a, a completely symmetrical structure, then it turns out that you can either cleave the outside pair of strands here or you can cleave the inside pair of strands here, and these are actually very similar uh, or identical uh, operations by an enzyme because of the symmetry of this structure. If the enzyme cleaves the inner pair of these structures where the cross is, then the result of this is, is to have two chromatids which are in fact completely identical to the way they started. Um, in, in geneticist parlance, big A is still linked to big B and little a is still linked to little b and when these come apart there is no change in the, in the, in the genetic information which has been uh, segregated. In contrast, if the breaks are made on the outer pair of strands here, then it turns out that the only way that these DNA molecules are still uh, 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 held together is by the light blue strand, the newly synthesized strand, the way we were talking about it before. And now, um, this arm of the chromosome, including the big A marker, is only linked to the little b marker, and conversely, uh, little a is only uh, linked to, to big B. So there has been a crossover, uh, which is characteristic of, of uh, the you probably learned about in, in, in studying meiosis. Uh, there, there are crossovers of the two DNA molecules which have occurred because of the resolution of one of these holiday junctions. And it looks as if uh, these two segments are very far apart from each other, but remember they're really uh, the immediately adjacent bases, and since the DNA molecule uh, he held by only a single strand of DNA is very flexible, these things can really be put back together and ligated with no difficulty. So holiday junction Resolvases can take these branch structures and create, in some cases, crossovers, which would be associated with loss of heterozygosity, as I illustrated earlier, um, or uh, with the uh, creation of genetic diversity that occurs in meiosis. Okay, so if we go back to the stalled replication fork that we were